Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. You're watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. A 19-year-old Pakistani woman was recently sentenced to death by stoning for the crime of being brutally raped at gunpoint by her cousin. According to reports, the woman told her family immediately after the attack and then reported it to her local village court. The court then decided that she had intentionally seduced her cousin, labeled her an adulteress, and sentenced her to either die by stoning or be sold as a slave. And her attacker, on the other hand, was released with no charges. Meanwhile, back in America, black students at Harvard are holding a blacks-only graduation ceremony. Latinos at Princeton are doing the same. Students at Evergreen State College are protesting racism by demanding that white students and faculty stay off of campus for a day. Men are getting booted out of Wonder Woman showings at movie theaters, and feminists aren't marching in the streets demanding justice for Pakistani women because they're too busy screaming about how everyone else should pay for their birth control. Here in this country, the left is actually reviving segregation because they've lost sight of what oppression actually is. So here's what it's not. Oppression is not when the guy who controls your office thermostat cranks it down and you have to put a blanket across your knees. Oppression is not someone telling you that booting all of the white people off college property is actually a really racist jerk move. Oppression is not a debunked gender wage gap or the Wall Street bull or the fact that a man was elected president over a woman. Oppression is being sentenced to death because you were raped by your cousin while he held a gun to your head, and then watching him get let off the hook by a bunch of guys who've labeled you the village whore. And I'll be happy to buy anyone who doesn't believe me a one-way ticket to Pakistan. And that's your reality check, America. Subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and stay sane out there.